चैप्टर 21 वन न्यूरल कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन क्लास 11 प्रोसेस थ्रू टू और मोर ऑर्गन इंटरेक्ट एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट द फंक्शन ऑफ ईच अदर इज कोऑर्डिनेशन सो कोऑर्डिनेशन इज द प्रोसेस थ्रू विच टू और मोर ऑर्गन इंटरेक्ट एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट द फंक्शन ऑफ ईच अदर अदर सिस्टम फ्रॉम विच नॉर्मल नर्वस सिस्टम कोऑर्डिनेट एंड इंटीग्रेट इन सिंक्रोनाइज फैशन इज एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम ऑर्गेनाइज्ड नेटवर्क ऑफ न्यूरल सिस्टम विच प्रोवाइड्स क्विक कोऑर्डिनेशन थ्रू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट कनेक्शंस हाईली स्पेशलाइज्ड सेल्स इन एनिमल्स विच कैन डिटेक्ट रिसीव एंड ट्रांसमिट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्टिमुली आर न्यूरॉन्स सो न्यूरॉन्स इज द हाईली स्पेशलाइज्ड सेल्स इन एनिमल्स विच कैन डिटेक्ट रिसीव एंड ट्रांसमिट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्टिमुली lower vertebrate in which neural organization is very simple and composed of network of neurons is hydra so hydra is the lower vertebrate in which neural organization is very simple and composed of network of neurons site where all the functions are processed and controlled is cns central nervous system so guys central nervous system is the site where all the information and processed are controlled part of pns means peripheral nervous system which carries impulses from tissues your organs to cns are afferent fibers okay remember afferent fibers are the part of pns which carries impulses from tissues or organ to cns neural system which relays impulses from cns to skeletal muscle is somatic neural system sns somatic neural system is the system which relays impulses from cns to skeletal muscles branch of pns which transmit impulses from cns to involuntary organ and classified into sympathetic and parasympathetic neural system is autonomic neural system ans autonomic neural system is the branch of pns peripheral nervous system which transmit impulses from cns central nervous system to involuntary organ and classified into sympathetic and parasympathetic neural system bulb like structure where branch of nerve fiber terminates is called synaptic nerve chemicals by which nerve impulses transmit through one neuron to another are called neurotransmitter it is important to learn that neurotransmitter is the chemicals by which nerve impulses transmit through one neuron to another cells which envelop nerve fibers and form myelin sheath around the axon are swan cells this is also very important swan cells is the cells which envelop nerve fibers and form myelin sheath around the axon gap between two adjacent myelin sheath remember gap between two adjacent myelin sheath are known as node of ranvier node of ranvier myelinated and unmyelinated nerve fibers are found in pns respectively are cranial or spinal nerve and autonomic and somatic nerve fibers property of excitability of neuron is due to polarized state of membrane of neuron this statement is also important that uh, property of excitability of neuron excitability of neuron is due to polarized state of membrane of neuron okay and here are three types of neuron you have to study that is first is multipolar second is bipolar and the third one is unipolar and the source of multipolar neuron is cerebral cortex and the source of bipolar neuron is retina of our eyes and the source of unipolar neuron is our embryonic stage at resting stage charge of inner surface is due to the presence of more k plus ions and negatively charged protein molecule k plus ions means potassium ions concentration gradient of exoplasm at resting stage is maintained by na plus k plus pump na plus k plus pump means sodium potassium pump in concentration gradient of exoplasm at resting stage it is maintained by sodium potassium pump this is also important you have to remember when a stimulus is applied on axonal membrane then generation of action potential is due to change permeability of 
सोडियम आयन जेनरेशन ऑफ एक्स एंड पोटेशियल इन स्टेज ऑफ एक्साइटिंग स्टेज जंक्शन फ्रॉम विच इम्पल्स इज ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू वन न्यूरोन टू अनदर न्यूरोन आर नॉन एज सेनेप्स सो साइनेप्स इज द जंक्शन फ्रॉम विच इम्पल्स इज ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम वन न्यूरोन टू अनदर इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न टाइप ऑफ सिनेप्स इन विच ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ इम्पल्स एक्रॉस न्यूरोन इज सिमिलर टू कंडक्शन अलॉन्ग अ सिंगल एक्शन बाई थ्रू इलेक्ट्रिकल साइनेप्स इनसाइड द स्कल द ब्रेन इज कवर्ड बाई सम मेम्ब्रेन आर कॉल्ड मेनिंगेज डीप क्लेफ्ट विच डिवाइड सेरेब्रम लॉन्गिट्यूडली इंटू टू हाफ नॉन एज मीडियम फिजर ट्रैक्ट ऑफ नव फाइबर विच कनेक्ट बोथ सेरेब्रल हेमिसफेयर इज कॉर्पस कैलोसम सो इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर डैट कॉर्पस कैलोसम इज द ट्रैक्ट ऑफ नव फाइबर विच कनेक्ट बोथ सेरेब्रल हेमिसफेयर एंड सेरेब्रल कॉर्टेक्स इज दैट पोर्सन ऑफ सेरेब्रम विच इज ग्रेस इन अपियरेंस ओके द पोर्सन ऑफ सेरेब्रम विच इज ग्रेस इन अपियरेंस इज सेरेब्रल कॉर्टेक्स रीजन ऑफ सेरेब्रल कॉर्टेक्स विच इज नाइदर मोटर नॉर सेंसरी इज एसोसिएशन एरिया ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर दैट एसोसिएशन एरिया इज दैट रीजन ऑफ सेरेब्रल कॉर्टेक्स वेयर नाइदर मोटर नॉर सेंसरी इज फंक्शन Major coordinating center of forebrain, which is wrapped around by cerebrum and responsible for motor and sensory signaling, is thalamus. Important part of forebrain, which control body temperature urge for eating and drinking, and at several groups of neurosecretory cells, is hypothalamus. This is most, most, most important to remember that hypothalamus is the important part of forebrain. which control body temperature urge for eating and drinking and has several group of neurosecretory cells inner part of cerebral hemisphere which is involved in sexual behavior motivation expression of emotional reactions and a group of associated deep structures like amygdala hippocampus age limbic system okay so limbic system is the inner part of cerebral hemisphere which is involved in sexual behavior motivation expression of emotional reactions and a group of associated deep structures like amygdala and hippocampus important to remember canal of midbrain which connects forebrain and hindbrain is cerebral aqueduct round swelling at the dorsal portion of the midbrain is known as cardiogenesis involuntary response process which require involvement of cns means central nervous system without conscious effort is reflex action the reflex pathway requires at least one afferent and one efferent neuron layer of eyeball which contain many blood vessels and bluish in color is choroid this is also important to remember that choroid is the layer of eyeball which contain many blood vessels and bluish in color bluish in color remember anterior part of choroid layer which hold lens by ligaments is ciliary body this is also important to remember that ciliary body is the an is the anterior part of the choroid layer which layer choroid layer which hold lens by ligaments okay regulating muscles which controls the pupil is a part of iris innermost layer of retina which is situated towards vitreous chamber is ganglionic layer outermost layer of retina which holds sensory neuron like rods and cones is photoreceptor layers so photoreceptor layer is the outermost layer of retina which holds sensory neurons like rods and cones the daylight photopic or color vision and twilight or scotopic vision are function of respectively cones and rods vitamin which is required for formation of rhodopsin or visual purple is vitamin a this is also important that vitamin a is the vitamin which is required for formation of rhodopsin or visual purple red green and blue lights are the types of cones which possess their own characteristic photopigments understand red green and blue lights are the photopigments of the types of cones point at posterior pole which is medial to and slightly above the posterior pole from where optic nerve a leave is blind spot so blind spot is the point at posterior pole which 
is medial to and slightly above the posterior pole from where optic nerve leave. Central pit of yellowish pigment macula lutea is fovea. Okay, fovea is the central pit of yellowish pigment macula lutea. Densely packed portion of macula lutea where visual activity is greatest is fovea. Space called vitreous chamber filled with transparent gel like substance found in between lens and retina. Photosensitive compound in the human eye which is composed of a protein and an aldehyde of vitamin A is respectively opsin and retinal. So opsin and retinal respectively are the photosensitive compound in the human eye which is composed of a protein and aldehyde of vitamin A. Generation of action potential concerned with the layer of ganglionic layer of retina. This is also important to remember that generation of action potential concerned with the ganglionic layer of retina. Sensory functions which are considered for ear are hearing and maintenance of body. Middle ear which contain three ossicles in key chain like Fashion are malus incus steps means miss malus incus steps. Ossicle which is attached to the oval window of the cochlea is steps. Middle ear cavity connected to pharynx through stucian tube. Series of channels formed of by bones are filled with perilymph. Coiled portion of membranous labyrinth is filled with endolymph. It is also important to remember that endolymph is the coiled portion of membranous labyrinth. Upper part of the bony labyrinth filled by perilymph and separated by resinous membrane from cochlea is scala vestibuli. Scala vestibuli and scala tympani ends at the windows respectively oval and round window. Hearing apparatus located on basilar membrane is organ of corti. Vestibular apparatus related with body balance is consist of semicircular canal and otolite organ. And it is important to remember that cochlea is the part of ear that determines the pitch of the sound. So, which part of the ear determines the pitch of the sound? The answer is cochlea. Cochlea is the part of the ear which determines the pitch of a sound. And cerebrum is the part of the brain which is most developed. Okay, and the last one is hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is dead part of our CNS means central nervous system which acts as a master clock. So always you remember that if question has come which part of our central nervous system acts as a master clock. So the answer is hypothalamus. Okay guys, so you like this audio clip so then like the button and also subscribe to this channel and share to your classmates and friends okay thank you